When you wake up in the morning, how do you feel? Do you feel good, energetic, or do you feel crappy, like you want to get back into bed? It might sound crazy, but how you're feeling, your mood, influences what you see and what you hear. Your brain is wired in this way. In fact, every sense that you have in every waking moment of your life is colored by how you feel. And it has very powerful consequences. Scientists have a name for this ingredient in our lives, affect. Now, affect is not emotion. It's more basic than emotion. And affect exists because one of your brain's most important jobs is running a budget for your body. It's keeping track of your glucose and oxygen, water, salt, hormones, immune system, and all the other stuff to keep you alive and well. This body budgeting is transformed into a fuzzy mental feeling called affect, or what we sometimes call mood. Affect is with you every waking moment of your life. This chart is a good visualization of its two aspects. Valence is how pleasant or unpleasant you feel. Are you watching one of your favorite shows? Are you feeling just neutral? Or are your muscles sore? Or does it feel like you're coming down with a cold? Good, bad, great, crappy. <coughs> Arousal is like your energy level. Maybe you're just sitting there calmly. Maybe you just woke up from a deep sleep. Maybe you're at a bumping party. No matter where you are or what you're doing, you are experiencing affect. It's a simple barometer of your body budget without a lot of detail. So if you came to our lab, we could make you feel pleasant or unpleasant without your awareness. We could change your affect. I can't tell you how we do it. That's kind of a scientific trade secret. But if we made you feel more pleasant and then we showed you neutral faces, you would experience those people as more trustworthy, more likable, more attractive. And if we made you feel unpleasant without your awareness, you would look at those exact same people and experience them as less trustworthy, less likable, less attractive.